There's been a lot of speculation and rumors going around recently. Are Funko Sodas in fact dying? Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it was brought to our attention last week during our Pop Force One weekly live stream that there were some videos circulating around with some people saying that Funko is ending the soda line. So today we're going to be talking about that and we're going to start things off with what are sodas. I know there's still some people out there who don't know what Funko sodas are. Funko sodas are these little collectible figures that actually come inside these cans. They're sealed because there is a one at a six chance at pulling the rare variant of the figure or what's known as the chase. Now there's also some other types of Funko sodas. Funko expanded and they started releasing these larger figures. These are three liter sodas. Right here I actually have the All Might soda. Once again they do come sealed and they do have a chance at pulling the rare or harder to find chase. The third soda product that Funko has come out with is called a Funko soda cooler. With this you actually get this little cool lounge fly bag. The cooler is usually centered around a theme or a specific grouping of the same genre of characters. This is the X-Men cooler and you actually get six different characters inside the cooler with one of them being a guaranteed chase. And since Soda started out in 2020, they've been extremely popular. We've seen thousands of collectors start collecting sodas in addition to collecting Funko Pops. Funko Pops are without a out the most popular product that Funko produces and we've even seen some collectors sell off their entire Funko Pop collections to solely focus on just collecting as many common and chase sodas as possible. Now despite the popularity of sodas and all these people collecting them there have been some things that have hurt the Funko soda community thanks to some things that Funko has done. Now overall some of the reasons why people love collecting the Funko sodas is that the cans and the figures are more durable than Funko Pop, so you don't have to worry about damage. Um, you can also collect more Funko sodas than Pops if you have a limited number of space because they don't take up as much space, but the single factor that people love sodas for is the fact that they are limited. So this is the tail soda right here and as you can see there is a number on the side of the can. This soda is in fact limited to 14,500 pieces and that right there is a huge deal because when it comes to collecting any sort of item or product, whatever hobby you're involved with, limited edition figures or collectibles is something that makes a hobby desirable to be in and it makes the item item, um, you know, have a very high demand if the supply is in fact limited or small. And unfortunately, Funko saw the opportunity with sodas and they pretty much ruined that factor by mass producing certain lines of sodas connected especially to major Marvel blockbusters like Black Panda Wakanda Forever, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and even recently the Marvels. They actually mass produced unnumbered sodas with some pretty good chases, unfortunately and put these sodas in big box retail stores like Target and Walmart where these sodas were absolutely destroyed. Big box retailers like Walmart and Target didn't know how to handle this product properly. They just put them out on the shelves and unfortunately people were going into the stores ripping open the cans looking for the chases, either taking the chases or only paying for the chases. But the fact that um, the stores did not know how to handle this product so much, they were actually allowing people to buy the soda and then open it and then return it if it wasn't the Chase variant that they wanted. That is completely unfortunate and a big reason as to why a lot of you guys might have seen some of these unnumbered sodas on clearance. So in addition to the unfortunate event of mass producing unnumbered sodas, Funko has also raised the price on their regular numbered soda a few times times. When they first initially released the regular sodas in 2020, retail was $11.99 or $12. We recently saw an increase from $12 to $15 about two years ago, and then about a year ago we unfortunately saw them increase the price yet again from $15 to $18. Now that is a huge price increase when you factor in that people are trying to buy multiples of each one of these figures because they want to increase 
increase their odds of getting a chase. So going from charging $15 to $18 is really going to affect every single collector's budget. It's even affected our budgets because we love opening, you know, multiples of sodas here on the channel. And we've actually had to cut back on how many sodas we do open and how many videos we can make with sodas simply because they raised the prices. So it's something that definitely hurt the market. But in addition to raising the prices, they also raised the piece counts on a lot of characters. So we went from getting sodas that were limited to 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 to then 20,000, 25,000. And then we even saw the Space Ghost limited to 35,000 pieces, which is absolutely insane for just one Figure. However, despite all the things that Funko did, sodas are still very popular and I don't think they are going away or ending anytime soon for a couple reasons. Funko has taken the Funko soda item and they've done some things that they've never done with any other item besides the Funko Pop. And I'll give you some examples. The first thing that they did that they've never done with any other item is they actually made a social media Freddy Funko soda, which they've given away to a lot of different Funko fans and fanatics at different events and they've also given them away to a lot of content creators or people through social media for creating a really cool picture or winning a contest. Another thing that they've done with Funko Sodas that they've never done with any other product before is they've actually included the Funko Sodas in big special limited edi edition event boxes like the Fun Days boxes that they released for San Diego Comic-Con and for New York Comic-Con. Last year we saw a few sodas put in the Fun Days boxes for the Camp Fun Days event and then we also saw some sodas being included in the Fright Night take-home boxes. So Funko has felt so strongly about this product that they felt comfortable enough to put it in one of their, you know, most anticipated, most hyped drops of the year and still confident that the, the box itself would sell out, you know, when featuring another item besides uh, Funko Pop. Now the problem that I saw with some of these sodas being included in these boxes was not the sodas themselves, but the fact that these sodas did not have chases. Most of these sodas were just one version of the character, which is not really as exciting to open when you know exactly what you're going to get. A big part of the hype surrounding a Funko Soda is the fact that it's like a little mystery box. It's sealed for a reason. You don't know what's inside and we all want to get the rare version or the chase version when we open it because there's less of that specific figure. Now the last and final reason as to why I don't think sodas are going away anytime soon is the fact that there's still some soda to figures that have yet to be released that we are still waiting for. We finally just got Tails in hand and I know a lot of people are getting their Tails sodas delivered to them either over the weekend or they have, you know, or they will throughout the week, which is very exciting. But we're also waiting on the teased Velma soda from the Scooby-Doo line. We're also waiting on a Jelly Belly soda that Funko was teasing last year, but we really got no update on it. And then we're also waiting on a three liter Maui soda, which there is a glam shot of on Funko's website right now, and you can actually click the notify me button for when this soda does eventually release. There's also another soda that really nobody has talked about, but I certainly have not forgotten because there was a leaked picture of it last year, and there was actually a three liter Freddy Funko Soda spotted at Funko HQ during some sort of event. It's not the best quality picture, but it does in fact exist, and I really hope that Freddy Funko 3 liter soda is released at some point. Now, some of you guys might be saying to yourself, we're only waiting on a handful of sodas. That's nothing compared to the hundreds of sodas that were released in 2023 and in previous years. And yes, you are correct. And that Funko has made the statement that they do want to cut back production across the board on most if not all of their product lines because they want to get back to being a lean startup. So what I think is happening is that they are going to be drastically cutting back on how many sodas they produce here in 2024, which could in fact be one of the best things for the soda community. It means that your wallet isn't going to be hurt as, you know, or hit as hardly. It also means that mentally you're not going to be overwhelmed trying to keep up with every 
every single release, trying to go after every single chase. And on top of that, it's going to allow us as collectors to go back and pick up some of the sodas that we missed or that we just didn't have a chance to get because we were just so caught up in the moment and we had to spend the money on the sodas that were attainable and realize that we weren't able to collect everything. Because at the end of the day, when Funko or any other collectible company releases a lot of stuff, it can be very easy to get overwhelmed very quickly. Now Funko, if you want to get the soda game back on track, there's a couple things that I would highly recommend you guys do and I really hope that somebody from the company at some point watches this video. And I think everybody else watching would hopefully agree with the following things that I'm about to recommend. Every soda, no matter what it is, whether it's your regular smaller soda or even a three liter soda should be no more than 10,000 pieces. A 10,000 piece soda allows for a 1600 piece chase, which I think with the current state of the Funko community is a perfect number for people to go after. It's going to allow people to get excited for each figure that comes out. And um, I really think 10,000 pieces or less is the sweet spot. Now in terms of the three liters, I would like to see even less, maybe 5,000 pieces or less because these three liter sodas do not retail for $18. These actually retail for $40, which in my opinion is very expensive. Additionally, Funko, I think if you wanna get things back on track with the hype train with sodas, every single soda needs to have a chase. I really believe in that. I think that allows for people to get excited. And in addition to that, this has to do with the three liters once again. I don't think Funko should be making any three liter of a character that doesn't make sense in larger form. They've done some characters that have made sense, like the Iron Giant, as well as the Maleficent as the Dragon, which look great as a three liter soda. But some recent characters like Willy Wonka, they just don't make sense as larger characters when you're overall looking at your Funko display. So that's why I really think they need to focus on the larger characters and um, really pay attention to, in universe, how large these characters are supposed to be. But those are some of my recommendations for how to get the soda hype train back on track. Guys, let me know what you think of what's going on with sodas. Do you think that this is a good thing? And let me know down in the comments section below if there was one Funko soda that you would love to see Funko make, drop that character down below and if you're even feeling adventurous enough, let me know what kind of chase you would like to see that character have. Now guys, since today it is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday Motivation segment. Every single week we like to bring you guys a small piece of Monday Motivation to help kickstart your week and get you through the toughest day of the week, which is of course Monday. And for today's Monday Motivation, it is pay attention and rearrange your Funko displays. Right now we're in the middle of winter, you know, it's probably yucky or very cold outside depending on where you live in the United States or where you live in the world, it may not be winter, but here in North America, it is winter. So I think it is a perfect time to maybe freshen up your displays, move around some of your pops, take things out of box, and just you know see what you have and uh, spruce it up a little bit. I think it's really important to do this every few months because you might find things that you no longer need or you might find things that you forgot you bought and now you wanna move them to the front of your displays. I know I've done that several times over the last few years when I find something I forgot I bought or I just wanna simply you know, shuffle some items to the back and bring some new items to the front because it brings me a lot of joy as a collector. So. Make sure to freshen up your displays and also we're going to be featuring some of uh, your guys' collections here on the channel very soon. So that's also another small reason to possibly, you know, clean up your displays a little bit. But guys, tonight is uh, Monday night, of course. So at 7 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be live once again back over on the WhatNot app. And speaking of sodas, we have a huge soda show, which I'm super excited about. We're going to be doing a ton of giveaways. We've got a jam-packed soda game with a ton of chase is up for grabs all starting off at a dollar plus we have a lot of really cool comments some of which are comments from the early days of 2020 which are very rare and very hard to find so if you're not doing anything and you're looking for a soda to add to your collection make sure to come on over to our stream starting at 7 p.m eastern tonight if you're new to the whatnot app and have not downloaded it before we actually have a link down in the description below that will get you 15 dollars off your very first purchase so definitely take advantage of that Guys, let me know what you think of your Funko sodas. I am so excited for the future of sodas, and I actually do hope that they're gonna be releasing fewer because 
at the end of the day, sometimes less is more. So as always, don't stop shooting until you score, and we'll see you guys tonight.